or trachoma right it's a very famous disease it's also known as egyptian ophthalmia and it is caused by chlamydia trachomatis a b and c types now a b and c cause trachoma d to k cause inclusion conjunctivitis and lymphogranuloma venereum or lgv is caused by l1 l2 l3 l is for l right lymphogranuloma venereum l1 l2 l3 okay the commonest infective cause of blindness in the entire world is trachoma okay now let's look at the geographical distribution of trachoma in north africa it's seen in egypt libya tunisia algeria ethiopia somalia and in south asia it's rampant in india pakistan bangladesh and sri lanka and middle east shows arab countries however if we try to concentrate on our country it's very highly prevalent in north india especially in punjab haryana uttar pradesh uttaranchal rajasthan and gujarat these states are highly affected by trachoma now the clinical features are the three main features lacrimation photophobia and watering right these are the clinical features now let's look at the hallmark features of uh, trachoma that is whenever you see these words you will have to remember trachoma the most important one the first one is sago grain appearance right this is the very hallmark and pathognomonic of trachoma this is how the sago grains appear on the conjunctiva then the herbal spits are seen over here see you can see these spits these are known as herbert spits and alls line is seen on the upper palpebral conjunctiva this white line that you are appreciate with the help of this arrow you can appreciate here that's the alt line and you can also see a panus see this is called a panus however this is not a specific sign now who has devised a sieve strategy for management of trachoma where s stands for surgery for trichiasis trichiasis and a stands for antibiotics for oral you will prefer azithromycin and topical will be tetracyclines and f is for facial hygiene and e stands for environmental sanitation these will prevent trachoma so the safe strategy s is for surgery for trichiasis a for antibiotics f facial hygiene and e is for environmental sanitation there is another concept for the management of trachoma this is known as the blanket therapy this is also been devised by who especially for the endemic areas okay now this is an intermittent type of therapy that is 1% tetracycline ointment is given once a day for 10 days in a month for 6 months duration okay one month you um, give the ointment for 10 days second month for 10 days third month 10 days like that for 6 months 1% tetracycline ointment once a day but if you want to reduce it you can give twice a day for 5 days a month for 6 months same thing 1% tetracycline twice a day for 5 days or once a day for 10 days in a month for 6 months so most affected are children and second most affected are women by trachoma now a few other features of trachoma are trichiasis we know that trichiasis is nothing but a posterior misdirection of eyelashes see these are the misdirected eyelashes whereas this is the normal appearance okay for this we have seen in safe strategy your management will be surgery for tylosis the next one is tylosis see there's a thick and lid margin then madarosis is loss of eyelashes and entropion that is inward turning of eyelid margin all of these are other features coming to cornea cornea presents with opacities in trachoma now you have to know that there are three types of corneal opacities in general not just in trachoma whenever you see a superficial opacity in cornea something like this see you are seeing that it's very superficial and not thick it's very thin that you will term as nebula and it causes the maximum discomfort then macula you can see that it is a bit more thicker it's going deeper it's half the thickness of cornea and a leucoma is full thickness um 
opacity of cornea. So this results in maximum loss of vision. See, you can compare the involvement, the depth you can clearly appreciate in these pictures. This is very superficial, this is very deep, okay. Now, for grading of trachoma, WHO has given the FISTO classification where F stands for greater than 5 follicles in the upper palpable conjunctiva. I is for intense inflammation. This in, uh, indicates the stage of maximum infectivity. S is for scarring. That means wherever a scar is there, healing has started. So, this is also healing. Then T is for trichiasis and O is for corneal opacities. That is grade 5. So, grade 1 to 5, you can remember it with the FISTO classification. Follicles, inflammation, scarring, trichiasis, opacity 1 to 5. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at MediCoab. Thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.